right, it's another day and a rainy one at that, but I gotta say I really like the rain and as long as it's not freezing cold, I have no problem with that and yeah, I'm here in an area where I've been to before, it's close to the um, MG42 shell casing dump, which was insane, it's not far from here and I just found this, um, yeah, MG42 fired shell casing, I uh, broke it with my shovel but it had the dent so definitely from that also and I thought yeah you don't need to put the GoPro on your head there's probably not gonna be many good signals around but I was wrong look at that that is a Mauser K98 rifle bolt that is pretty damn amazing um didn't expect to find one here there's a lot of post war trash around and yeah not that much good stuff but there you go that's a definitely definitely nice K98 bolt and yeah, I always love finding these, but once once more, I gotta say it, um, I do not take guns or gun parts with me because here in Germany, uh, it's unfortunately against the law, even though this will never work again. But yeah, I just gotta clarify that because some people just assume I take everything with me and yeah, finding gun parts and guns is nice, don't get me wrong. Um, I mean, it's history in it itself, World War II history. Um, but yeah, of course it doesn't enlarge my collection, but still It's a very nice piece of history. So let's carry on. Maybe there's more around oh, Come on, what is this? Something big oh, Wow, it's really big There we go. Oh my Freaking God Holy Damn, are you kidding me? Wow, that is a revolver, guys. I was very reluctant to turn the camera on. Just found this. Uh, I think it's a Wehrmacht spade, um, a foldable spade. I'm not really sure, but it kind of has a shape. So that's really cool. There's this massive iron rod here. I don't know what it is, but it was a service find and it's in really bad condition. But holy, <laughs> don't want to swear, but Look at this son of a revolver, man. That is insane. Why do I always find so many guns? I just want some insignia, maybe a badge or something, but no. Look at that, man. How crazy. Yo, it's a freaking revolver. I know nothing about revolvers. I don't even know if it's German or not. Oh, that is crazy. Man, it really pays off going into this very dense forest. Um, it's a, it's a pain. It's a pain in the back because you know the branches just get uh, everywhere and the ticks and all that. But man, that is insane! <laughs> this seems like the trigger guard has rotted away. There's a trigger. Oh my god, that is insanely cool! Leave a like for this amazing find, man. Absolutely amazing World War II history right here. Wow, absolutely stunning. Oh, what is that? What is this? Was a really nice signal, um, high aluminium. And I thought, maybe I just do a live take. Look at this some sort of plate with information about vault and uh, I don't know what to call this in English basically the um, power of electricity the strength of the electricity but who knows what it's from definitely some sort of electrical device maybe a field radio or something oh very cool okay that is another Panzerfaust just laying on the surface like that unbelievable but you know <laughs> I'm kind of getting used to it finding all the stuff on the surface it's not really anything special for this location but yeah as you can tell by the condition it's been here for a long time the rust is basically just crumbling off it and I checked unfortunately it's still full so <sighs> I can't take it I'm getting really unlucky with all these Panzerfausts I think I have found two in total uh, which have been empty 
and all the other ones still had the charge in here so yeah that's a bummer um, as you can see there's still this little knob where you would um, attach the trigger and the side goes up front here so yeah still pretty cool fine to see now I wonder if these have been found before or if they just have been laying here ever since the Second World War two German World War II gas mask eye rings um, judging by the condition they could very well have been here since the end of the war very brittle and yeah usually they are in a way better condition but who knows maybe found by a forest worker or so just put it here yeah very cool to see these relics on the surface after all this time I love that Okay, I think it's finally time to go home. I am really exhausted and my back hurts from all the crouching around the bushes and the young trees here. I think I'm gonna return in like a couple of years because the trees are just still too young to like properly detect around them. So yeah, we will have some good areas in a couple of years when they grow up, but yeah. Um, made some more friends, gonna show you them right now. Um, nothing too special, I found this aluminum lid. I'm not really sure what it was from, but um, yeah, four coins also close by, um, three ten Reichsfennig and one five Reichsfennig coin, all from World War II. Yeah, I mean the condition, of course, horrible because made from the zinc, but yeah, they're still coins. Um, this, I think, is a German World War II mess tin handle. Um, I found one before with some Bakelite on here, but yeah. It's a, it's a decent find. Um, found a lot of mess and fragments at as well, but nothing complete, unfortunately. Some more shell casings here, K98 mostly, a burst caliber 50 shell casing. Um, I don't know what this is. Hmm, some sort of electrical item. Don't really know. Um, this thing is probably from a German jerry can. Um, found it before and you guys told me what it is, so probably from that. Um, the sieve? kind of object I'm not sure um, I found it before I definitely did but um, yeah I still don't know what it is now this here is some sort of iron bit with some leather here um, yeah no clue mostly mystery objects right now uh, big ring probably either from a gas mask or no, not from a gas mask way too small for that but from a tent or something another little aluminium box could be from cigarettes or something um, yeah, that is very really cool. Showed you this aluminium sign in a live dig, as well as what is this? Yeah, more aluminium. Yeah, a lot of mystery objects, but yeah, gonna head home. Had a blast. The revolver was an absolutely out of this world find. So, yeah, really nice day. But before I end this video, I do want to show you one little clip I took like one month ago when it was still summer and I did a little night hunt episode and I only took this one clip and never really showed it so here you go. Wow guys now, now look at that. I haven't even been detecting for like 10 minutes and already the first good find and it is a surface find and it probably has been like that for many many years. Look at that it's a Mauser K98 bagonet. Very cool. And I remember actually I found a Dutch Hamburg bayonet right next to this tree stump a couple of months ago. So that is actually very cool to see another bayonet come from the same location. And <laughs> just goes to show I wasn't really proper detecting here last time. So yeah, it's in okay condition I'd say. So yeah, very great find. Let's carry on. So that was a neat little find I made back then and as you know I really love finding bayonets just absolutely amazing relics and by the way I have not forgotten about the K98 bayonet restoration video which I promised like two months ago <laughs> but it will eventually be uploaded um, you know I just gotta learn the right methods to clean and preserve and all that and yeah gotta get the right equipment for that as well but eventually it will be done so yeah you can look forward to that. And I also want to give a shout out and big big thank you to Mads L up on the screen right now. So thank you so much for your kind donation over on PayPal. That really helps out this channel a lot. 
like findings in the trips, getting new gear, buying new books for research, you name it, all of that stuff. It does cost some money, so getting some support from you guys is really, really appreciated. So big thank you for that. All right, I think that concludes today's video pretty good. Um, I know a bit on the shorter side, but you know, I can't find more stuff than there is on the ground. So the videos are bound to become a little bit shorter here and there, but it is what it is. Um, I do wanna keep up my upload schedule if you can call it that. Um, one video every three weeks is my goal. So if they are a little bit shorter, that's probably why, because, you know, I just wanna bring regular content to you guys and interact with you guys, because that is a lot of fun. I really love reading the comments, replying to them, and just, yeah, communicating with you. It's a lot of fun. So yeah, keep the comments coming, and thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, and have a good one.